Yo, 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 what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Real Touch GML here with a QA response video. And uh, yeah, I just, you know, I, I, let the, I let the questions simmer a little bit, you know, and then I went ahead and looked at them, I looked at all of the questions, and I just picked out a few that I wanted to answer. And, you know, there was also, obviously, there were duplicate questions that I would give the same response to and all that stuff. So if you don't see your question in here, uh, just know that I mentally answered it, although I may not be answering it in this video. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and start it up here. So, all right, question number one from HeroFans.org, a.k.a. Mr. Higgintop. Uh, are you developing a project for you or your own entertainment at the moment? And that is actually, yes, I am. But it's not for my entertainment. It's actually a game that uh, I put together a team, and we're actually creating it and will be releasing it onto Steam or Indievania or whatever we decide. We haven't gotten that far yet. But yeah, we're a couple weeks in, so we are actually developing that. And I've done a little bit of streaming. Uh, I've streamed a little bit of the development of the game, and I announce when I stream on my Twitter. So if you'd like to check out my Twitter and get updates on when I'm streaming and all that fun stuff, the link is in the description. But uh, So yeah, I am, and hopefully it will be released soon. And uh, I can't wait to, you know, put together the trailer and let you guys know about it and all that fun stuff. So, so yeah, that's, uh, there you go. All right, question number two from Camper LV. Why are you making tutorials? Good question. And the reason I started making tutorials was basically, um, I was I was new to programming. I was you know I started with Game Maker and I used to believe it or not go on YouTube to look up uh, you know tutorials and how to actually code and all that fun stuff. That's where I started. Well, in the process of looking this up, I I shuffled through a lot of shit videos. All right, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna tiptoe around it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I went through a lot of shit videos. You know. No commentary, you know, you can barely see the code, the quality was super bad, and, and not all of them. I mean, there were some some good tutorialists out there at the time, like uh, the Retry This and StevMay09. Those were Game Maker tutorialists back when I was learning, but uh, I don't think they, they don't do YouTube anymore. But yeah, so anyways... Once I actually learned and got a grasp, I started my own channel because I said, you know what? I don't want to put other people through what I had to go through. And it's not like I went through a super hard time, but, you know, I could have learned a lot easier if the quality and all that fun stuff was, and someone was actually explaining the code, then I could grasp the concepts more and, uh, in, you know start making games more so so yeah that's why I started a channel just to really help out other people and uh, and yeah so that that's why I started making tutorials and that's why I still do so there you go all right all right third question yellow Yoshi gaming this kind of refers back to the last question but how did you learn code so well so like I said I started on YouTube I started learning code on YouTube and really the big secret I'm gonna let you guys know on the big secret on how to learn how to code well here's what you're gonna do you are you listening get out your notepad or something because here here's the secret uh, basically what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to start a small project right and what you want to do in this small project is put stuff in it that forces you to learn new things right so once you've got a nice base of, you know, okay, this is how to code, you know, maybe I can put a box in there. Okay, so now let me, you know, I want the objects to rotate and I want, you know, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Well, you go into the mindset of that. So as you get to that point in the in the, in the the game, you, you have to Google it and learn it and read books and all of that fun stuff. And that now next project you do, you already now know how to do that. And you do that so many times to the point where, you know, you know how to code well. And I mean, even still now, I still look up stuff as well. You know, if, if I, if I, uh, you know, am having trouble with something, you know, I might Google it. And that's, you shouldn't be ashamed of doing that. 
you know, because at the end of the day, it's not how you made the how you made your game. It's how the game plays and if it's fun or not. So it doesn't really matter how it's made. And that's actually what I did with Java. If you remember a long, long time ago, I made a game called Wave. I think that it's on my channel still. And that was my first Java game ever made. And what happened was I forced myself to learn new things. I forced myself how to make a, a cool little particle system for the boxes. I forced myself how to make a store, how to get mouse input, all that fun stuff. So if you just follow that, you're going to eventually learn how to code well and start making anything that comes to your mind. So, uh, so yeah. Alright, next question from Peanut Butter Boy. Are you going to do a Uplay Season 1 finale? Like a top 5 games video. Well, I kind of put this in here because I wanted to ask you guys, you know, would you want to see that? Because I know Uplay has actually been on the low ratings for my channel. Not, it has, the Uplay videos have not been getting much traction at all compared to, you know, say my Minecraft gaming tutorials, my Java tutorials, my Juicy Effects. They, yeah, so that series is basically the lowest series I've ever done. Now, with that being said, I don't know if you guys still want it. I don't know if you think I should do a season one finale and stop it there. I don't know. Let me get, let, let me know because that'll be based on what you guys, the audience wants. So, uh, yeah. All right, from Killer Kyle 1010. What got you interested in game development? Well, this goes back all the way to, you know, maybe when I was five, six. And, uh, you know, it's a long story. I've debated actually just telling you guys the story on my channel, but, you know, I haven't really gotten around to that video yet. But basically, you know, I was I was the kid in the neighborhood that uh, that made, like, real-life games, you know? So, so like, you know, I, I lived on a cul-de-sac. I don't anymore, but I did, and there was a group of these kids that also lived there. And, uh, it was just, I, I made these ridiculous, ridiculous games, you know, like, with actual levels and all of that stuff, and I actually, you know, at one point I was controlling a Mario action figure and had my friend run in place in the direction that he ran, I would move the action figure that way, and, you know, the pace that he ran in, in, in uh, he ran, uh, just, like, in place, is you know how fast I would move it, and if he jumped, I would jump the action figure. So it was very, yeah, it was very. Uh, not, it was not fun at all, but I just thought it was awesome at the time I was doing it. So yeah, I actually did that, and then I actually got away from game development a little bit and started in uh, movies and creating like small videos. And I created a YouTube channel called Zam Film Productions. Uh, you're seeing a video that I made like four four years ago four or five years ago that this video was made and uh it was just fun and you know i had a great time doing it but i really you know i had to go back to my roots i had to go back to gaming and that's when i started to learn how to do game development shortly after those videos were put up so uh so yeah and are you inscribed to how to basic no i don't know who that is all right i'm probably gonna get some heat for that I don't know who that is. All right, this question from uh, Cassia, Kasai, Shai, She. I'm sorry, uh, Kasai. Why is Cody Made Simple taking so long to be released? And basically, I got a programmer or web developer working on the site right now. I just kind of paid him to uh, to finish it off because we had this very complicated sort of thingamabobber and I don't want to get into it now but I've said this before but I can guarantee you guys that it will be up and it will be up the way I want it to look not half-assing it or anything like that so yes it will be up just give me some time all right all right this question is from sky tie claws clues uh, do you prefer working on your own or for a gaming company? Question mark. So basically, I want to work on my own. I do not want to work for a company whatsoever. If I actually got, uh, if I got an invite to Activision right now, I would decline it. That's right. Uh, I really 
do not want to work for a company. I know that may, may seem silly, but I want to work on games I want to work on, and you can't stop me from that, because even, like, especially with these big companies, a lot of them now have these, uh, contracts you sign where, you know, you're not allowed to release games, uh, while working you're not allowed to release your your own games while working for this company or whatever i know activision has that but uh yeah it's 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 weird i uh yeah i would work on my own there you go all right and the last question adam smith what programming do you use to record your computer screen and that is camtasia studio 8 it is a fine program and i also edit it with it i don't just record i edit with it as well so yeah that is what i use it is awesome and hasn't failed me yet. So uh, there you go. That's what I use.